Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon. I'm about to show you one of the best boats ever freaking made, which is the Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. <laughs> Watching this video on my YouTube channel, which is Use Boats TV. The person's channels make a lot of boat videos. Whether it's showing you boats that I have for sale here at Heartland Marine, where I work, taking you out and showing you how to work them, showing you how to clean them, how to fix certain stuff, showing you uh, some water sports how to style videos, as well as fishing. If you feel like you could benefit from any, any of that, please consider subscribing by clicking down below, hitting that subscribe button, following it up with a click on that bell icon. Then you'll be notified anytime we upload something new. But the purpose of this video is to show you this 2006 Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck that I have for sale here at Heartland Marine. It's one of my favorite boats ever. Be sure to click down in the description below. I'll include a link to a video of the top 10 best used boats. Well, it's more specific than that. Pretty much ever made. I mean, we could just go on and say that. What it really means to live like golden. Moving right along to the greatest boat ever made, butt seat test. Oh my god, Becky, look at The butt seat test is when I get in the boat and show how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can easily put six in the sole of your boat, which is cockpit floor. Coming into the bow, I have seven. Eight, nine, and the way this is designed without the front, you can do 10, 11, 12 because there's plenty of leg room, which is convenient because this boat is rated for 12 people. If you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, be sure to click down below. I use this boat as an example and a video that explains how they come up with that number. Now we'll look at the gel coat. That boy just came in, hasn't been cleaned, detailed, nothing. Here at Heartland Marine, we inspect, check, clean, and correct all the boats we sell before we sell them within reason. Gosh darn sweat bees or whatever they are. So since we inspect, check, clean, and correct the boats we sell before we sell them, it doesn't bother me to point out flaws. It's a 100% freshwater boat. has a fair share of fine scuffs. Nothing that won't polish out real good. Okay, so this would be a great boat um, to take the graphics off and have our guys put a hard polish on it. It doesn't cost any more because it's all very fine surface. Lifting strikes, keel, reverse chine looks great, but since they're all surface, that'll all come out and this boat could look absolutely stunning. You know, take the graphics off below the rub rail, take the old registration numbers off, because that's really it. That's the only thing that hurts it in terms of condition. Few very fine scuffs and scrapes. This one will have to add a little gel coat. That's the only one I've seen thus far that won't just polish right on out. So this bad boy is loaded. Captain's Call Exhaust, Trim Tabs, 350 Mag MPI, Bravo 3, Counter Rotating Outdrive, a little bit of electrolysis on the end of the skag there, cavitation plate's in good shape. We will put a skag guard on that, a chrome fin over the outdrive, which actually will include a link to a video down below where I explain how to install those just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about if you're not familiar. Um, once we do that, put a hard polish on it, this boat will be awesome. Let's jump inside and take a look. So, Sea Ray 240 Sun Decks have great big swim platforms, which cover up the outdrive. Keep your kids from smashing the propellers. So, what's uniquely awesome about this model is the self-planing hull with the 21 degree dead rise hull, <laughs> which is the angle of which the boat comes out of the water at the transom. So, at 21 in the back, it's even sharper forward. So, a lot of people say this is a deck boat, which it is. You can classify it as a deck boat because it's round on the front in the inside. That's the only thing that makes it a deck boat because it's just as sharp of a V, if not sharper, than a lot of competitive brands' bow riders. You got tables in here. All this carpet snaps out. It's in really nice shape. See, the captain's chair has the great big plush flip up bolster. So you can sit up nice and tall. So we got our controls here, tilt and trim, giving away to our beautiful helm. All of our gauge faces look great. It's got a smart craft instrumentation, which is basically a heart monitor for your engine. It tells you everything you need to know about it. It's only got 200 and 
57 hours on the 350 mag MPI Mercruiser, 300 horse. It's got the automatic fire suppression system. There's your factory course of, course of exhaust. Dual batteries with a switch here. Battery show 2019. And there's your switch. So all the vinyl's in very good shape. And it's also a very high quality vinyl. Very deep storage compartment here. That white thing goes on top of that thing for a little countertop. Take a look at the port side cap and share. It too has a nice comfy bolster. A grab handle for bad drivers. And two cup holders. So you can just drink and get bombed if the guys or ladies are really bad driver. So enclosed fully fiberglass head. There's a window. A mirror. Light. Shower. Storage toilet and this is we'll discover it together a pump out head all right the thing with quality on boats is it's not what we see that makes boat great it's quite the hardware that holds it together so this is a thick resin transfer mold on a full piano hinge with a seal also take a look at the windshield no break in it one big piece of tempered glass and you can support yourself with this windshield frame because it's so big and thick we'll see if i can position the camera to do that see you wouldn't dare do this Ugh, on most boats now we have bow filler cushions makes it bow into a sun pad back to quality see how thick this lid is on a full piano hinge it's also through bolted with washers gas assisted strut to hold it up when you shut that with the stainless steel locking latch this is just as solid as the floor of the boat so right up here hillbilly gps this is our wind block door this lights can drive me lights so you can block the wind if it's cool, cold, or windy. It's not a one that folds all into different parts and pieces. Stereo you can plug your phone into. There's the cooler. Another light in there. Okay, so for stuff that you use a lot, that's what you use this storage for. For stuff you don't use a whole lot, you can use the one up front. So we've had a lot of rain here. Last night stormed like crazy, but uh, that's why there's a lot of moisture. Uh, anchor washer, this is a cooler up here. Grab handles. This is like a diving board. Kids can go ape crazy up here. Bow boarding ladder and anchor. Navigation lights. So these comfortable loungers are awesome. The only thing people will sometimes mention in this boat, not as much as in my younger days, but say it's not real deep up here. Never in my 19 year career have had I had have I had anyone complain about a C340 240 Sun Deck. The way they ride, how high quality they are. Yet alone, never once known anyone that falls out. This part of the boat's smooth. The worst place to ride in a boat is actually at the captain's chairs because when you see them go down the water, that's where they're taking the abuse underneath. So there she is. Sure is beautiful. Let's talk about my assessment of this model. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon. It's hot outside. No one wants to come help me make a video. So we're making a selfie video of one of the best boats made since Pocahontas jumped off the Titanic. You're watching this video on my YouTube. Oh, Jesus. So my assessment of a C-Ray 240 Sun Deck is summarized pretty good. It's just really and truly a boat you have to drive to appreciate. 21 degree dead rise. I know that that just sounds like some stupid thing for a salesman to say, but when you drive every boat that size, you realize that that sharp V makes a huge difference. It's got a self planing hole, so it's only got three degree bow rise. All that means is when you're sitting on the back seat, you have three degree of visibility from the transom to the bow. So it trans transcends, if that's a word, on the plane nice and smooth, Whew, comes down nice and smooth. It doesn't ride nose up, nose heavy all the time. And it's got trim tabs. This particular one, after we take those graphics off, put a hard polish on it, clean the interior. I mean, it's really gonna be like a nine and a half out of 10. May not look like it, but it will. If you don't believe me, I'll give you your money back. Well, my name's Brandon. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the water. Models, poppin' bottles! Hey, hey.